Yo, what's up everybody? It's Blaze and this is the next coin making method. This is after the BCA event. Um so yeah, so the best coin uh making methods uh is mostly gonna require sniping or luck as of right now. So for luck, we got the team of the week. You keep completing the team of the week and each time you get a team of the week item. And then you go to the sets. I, I don't have enough of them. But you put it in here and you can of course exchange it for a gold team of the week player. And then you know you can put all the team of the week players in here. And it's probably gonna be hard. And then, of course, then you can sell Lamar Miller, but people are going to be want buying these Week 6 uh, players, Case Keenum, Barry Church, and Hunter Henry, that you can get from your Team of the Week player packs, so then you can trade them uh, in the auctions and get some money. But one of the best ways that I found out is using this sniping filter right here. It's not really a sniping filter. Uh, but it's game plan collectibles for really up to 8k you're still going to be making profit not as much um, oh yeah and go to type silver so this is the snipe silver game plan collectibles sometimes they fall but then once you get them you can sell them for around 15k not exactly 15k but like 15 12 10k you can sell them for probably sell them for 12k 10k that 10k one is kind of a snipe as you can see one just went away um so yeah so 10k but i would go for around 8k um so for gold game plan collectibles i would say 50k i want to say or around 50k 50k is what you're going to be selling them for so about 40, 45k to snipe. That's not really a snipe. 40k is a good snipe for that. And usually those actually drop, but you know I haven't seen much. But game plan collectibles are definitely my favorite way of selling them. Uh, of course, the team of the week players you can get. This is cool. I'm pretty sure. I know. So, for example, the case Keenum that's in this week. Let's see how much he's going for. Look at him. I think you could sell him easily for 10k. Or more, more than 10k. Yeah, you could sell case Keenum for around 6k. 7k. So if you can get him for, or okay, well he's pretty cheap, but you know, it's still more than in the average gold player. Of course, the next snipy filter is just—it's not really a super super snipy filter. It's just a basic one, elite players for 40k. You don't really make a super a lot of profit. But I mean, if you got that really young right there for 101 coins, that is profit right there, definitely. Got Jamal Charles for 10k, even the Derek Johnson. But when you get like the 40k, uh, you make about 10k profit, something around there. And the Cameron Jordan just uh, went in there, I think, I believe. So you know, it's just a basic kind of filter that I use. That can get you a lot. You need to probably snipe legends and stuff like that. And the last method is actually, um, besides going in the store, I this is the worst method you can do. But you uh, go and buy the packs, square packs, premium packs. But most of the time, you're gonna waste your money. You're not. But if you're lucky, of course you can. And uh, the last way is uh, if you can snipe these silver players 
for less than 500 uh, coins. 500 or less coins, you know, you can snipe them over and like, over and over and over. Get these, uh, try and snipe for like 400 or less, and basically the total, uh, form, I'm gonna go buy them now, feel them, and the total you'll buy is 10, around 10 of them. And you can also get these free from playing events and stuff, so you don't have to exactly buy them all. Uh, I'm gonna try and buy a few of these, make sure I have 10. I guess someone else is behind to too. Just wanna make sure I have 10 of them to do this. Okay. Uh, the last way that we're gonna be making the money. Coins. Let's see if I have enough. No. Yeah. A few more. So the set that we're going to be doing is the silver player set in the locket. So when you buy them all for 500 or less, that's 5k. Uh, you put them into the set. And most of the time you get at least one gold. Sometimes you don't. But if you get one gold, boom, there's one gold right there. That's 5,000. So then um, you got silver trophy. Two silver trophies, we usually get a decent amount of silver trophies in bronze. This is just extra profit. But the gold trophy basically just cancels it out and then you can make one, two, about 2k profit from these. Which is not a whole bunch of profit, but it's profit at the least. So thank you guys for watching. That's all the methods I have for this episode. See ya.